If you're wondering how the Daily Harvest Opals are, I'm gonna be reviewing every single one of their flavors currently offered. And let me tell you, they have definitely been saving me six weeks postpartum. They've been my go-to lunch. I'm convinced they've helped with my milk supply because everybody knows oats are really good if you're breastfeeding. And I am not only breastfeeding him, but I'm also breastfeeding my toddler. You guys can get $25 off your Daily Harvest order with code TCM25. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. So let's jump into first impression taste test of each of the opals. First up for oatmeal bowls, we have your apple cinnamon oatmeal bowl. Now, I know what you might be thinking because I was thinking it. How special could an apple cinnamon oatmeal bowl really be? I have to say, this is the best smelling oatmeal I've ever had. This is the best apple cinnamon oatmeal I have ever had. It has what looks like maybe pumpkin seeds are in here. There's uh, walnuts in here. Perfect amount of crunch and sweetness. Cinnamon on point. It's kind of like an apple cobbler. This is by far the best apple cinnamon oatmeal. Maybe even the best oatmeal I've ever had. I'm here for this. I am trying out the kabocha chai oatmeal. And let me tell you, it smells like fall. Like that chai vibe. It smells so good. I can't wait to take a bite of this. It smells like pumpkin spice oatmeal. <laughs> and it tastes like pumpkin spice oatmeal. Mmm, the raisins give it the perfect sweetness. Pecans give it a nice crunch. The cardamom, the kabocha, which is a type of squash. And can recommend this one. The next biggest surprise was the mulberry and dragon fruit oat ball. I was not sure about this oatmeal bowl, but it was one of their best selling ones. No, dragon fruit isn't my favorite thing. I don't get the trend. I know it's a superfood. It just doesn't really taste like anything to me. And then beyond that, it has blueberries and raspberries, which initially, as you guys will see in my footage, didn't really taste super special. But then I got to the mulberries. Roll the footage. I already tasted a little bit of it and it honestly just tastes like blueberries and raspberries. Not bad. It's just tart. Mmm, the mulberry bites are very sweet. I like those bites. I don't know if I've ever had mulberry before this. I feel like they should do more mulberries because those are amazing. Thoughts on the mulberry dragon fruit bowl. Mulberry is delicious. It's super sweet. The blueberry to mulberry ratio, not my fave. I feel like they could have added more mulberries to cut some of the tartness with a little more sweetness, but it was delicious still. I just really wish I had more mulberries. I'd never had a mulberry before, at least not to my knowledge, and apparently they're amazing. So add to cart. This is the cinnamon and the banana opal. It smells like not much, kind of just a little banana-y. Tastes like cinnamon banana. I just got a bite with the butternut squash. It just tastes like cinnamon banana still. Not in a bad way. It's a really nice texture. The butternut squash are cut into little like square chunks that kind of remind me of like apple chunks. And it's got some nice sunflower seeds and nuts. So there's a little bit of crunch, but not overly like really good. I have nothing really to say on it. Sweet. Not too sweet, cinnamony, but not too cinnamony. Very gentle hint of banana. Banana is not overpowering at all. This is the strawberry goji oatmeal bowl. It's good. There's no complaints, but it just kind of tastes like a strawberry oatmeal bowl. There's like a couple sweet touches, but it's not my favorite. It's not bad by any means. I would totally get it again. It's just a little underwhelming. Like, I want a little cinnamon, I want a little crunch. It just tastes like soft oatmeal because all the ingredients are softer ingredients. So, sweet, it's tangy. It's like a Quaker Oats kind of texture. Just soft, kind of bland, but very good. If you like strawberries and cream oatmeal, this is gonna be like your new favorite. So I don't know how I feel about this because I don't actually like cherry. I just wanted to try this one out so I could say I've tried out all the Daily Harvest oatmeal bowls. I don't usually do chocolate in my oatmeal and I don't like cherries like ever in my life. So this is going to be interesting. So what I like is that the cherries are like whole cherries whereas the strawberries are kind of more like small. So if I take a bite out of the cherry and I'm like absolutely not, I can pick that out which is a win. The berries are very tart. I got a big bite of some sort of chocolate in that, which was delightful. 
which I didn't expect to like. First impression is a little tart, more tart than I'd go for, but the chocolate can balance it out for sure. I'm going for a cherry right now. I actually like the cherries more than the strawberries. The cherry was not nearly as tart as just kind of like the other oatmeal -y part. Again, got a really nice blend of chocolate in there. I'm impressed so far. But it's definitely not bad. I will have no problems finishing this. Definitely gives me some ideas for creating my own oatmeal at home with some cacao nibs, some date, some cocoa powder. But I probably, I don't know, there's something like tarty about this. I get some really good delicious bites but I am not normally a chocolate and berry, strawberry, cherry type of oatmeal person. I prefer more of their kabocha, apple cinnamon, more of those savory fall flavors over this one. This is the lemon blueberry oat ball. It's like a blueberry lemon poppy seed muffin through and through. And that's my only thought so far. It's really good. It literally tastes like a lemon blueberry poppy seed muffin and I'm into it. Compared to some of the others because you know with daily harvest they say to put a half a cup of milk in. Normally it comes out pretty liquidy but it firms up if you let it sit for a little while. This one didn't firm up as much as some of the others. If you like a drier oat definitely go with a little bit less on this one. Make sure to hit that notification and subscribe button so you don't miss more daily harvest reviews. I have a ton of their harvest bowls in my freezer right now too, which I'm excited to be reviewing. You guys can use code TCM25 for $25 off your first box. Make sure to go ahead and check out those past daily harvest reviews, including how it works, as well as my splendid spoon review. I will be doing comparisons, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below.